Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here, and today Apple has finally made the iTunes Match service available to the public. This is going to be bundled with the iTunes 10.5.1 update, which you can download directly from Apple's website or through the iTunes application. Now just a reminder, the iTunes Match service costs $24.99 per year, and what it does is it's going to match the songs that you may have imported from CDs or uh, from any other source, and it's going to match them with songs that are available in the iTunes store. This will then allow you to access those songs uh, from all of your devices without any syncing. Additionally, if you have songs that um, that are a, a lower bitrate quality, Apple's going to make those songs higher quality to match what you can actually purchase in the iTunes store. Uh, so if the song has been matched, they can do that for you. Now if your song doesn't happen to be available in iTunes, Apple will upload that entire song then to the cloud. This is better than services like the Google Music service or the Amazon Cloud Player because you have to upload your entire library up into the cloud, which can take hours if you've got a lot of songs. This is just going to upload those uh, that are not available for purchase on iTunes, uh, so it's much quicker. So let's go ahead and open up the iTunes application. And once you've downloaded the update, you can head up to store here and you can turn iTunes Match on. Once you've paid the $24.99 subscription cost, you can go ahead and add your computer. Enter my password. And once you've done that, it's going to gather information about your songs. It's going to match those um, then with songs that are available in the iTunes store. And then it's going to upload artwork and remaining songs. So uh, this is probably going to finish up pretty quick here. I've just got a test uh, library that we'll uh, use for this. And I'll go ahead and pause the video and then we'll take a look when it's done. Alright guys, so it looks like it's all finished up and it says that 29 of my songs are now available in iCloud. And uh, if you take a look here, it says you can access then your music from all of your devices uh, by turning that feature on in settings. You can also access it then on your Apple TV. Uh, so let's go ahead and select done. And now we're brought into my music library. And you're going to notice here that I've got that next uh, that little cloud logo next to music. That's to signify that I do have an iCloud library now available. Now here we're going to see some columns. So let's bring up iTunes into full screen. And uh, you're going to see here that there's this little cloud symbol. And what this signifies is that these songs uh, with the little download icon uh, right there signifies that they are not uh, currently stored on my computer. Instead, they're available uh, in the cloud. So if I were to start up, uh, I could download that song um, right here from the cloud without having to have it stored right on my computer. Uh, this will also work uh, then the same way with iOS devices which we'll get into later in the video. Additionally I've got the iCloud status here so we can take a look. Um, you'll see that these songs here are my purchase songs but I've also got uh, my Billy Joel CD which has been matched. This was a CD that I imported into my computer uh, so it matched it um, with the Billy Joel music that you can currently buy in the iTunes store and it's already been uh, up um, upgraded then to the higher bitrate quality you'll see uh, right here on the right hand side. Uh, so you can begin then downloading a song, you just select it, it'll begin downloading that item right away under the download section for you. So it's really easy and convenient and it's a great way if you've got a lot of imported CDs uh, to get your music available in the cloud and have it at a higher quality. Next let's take a look at the iOS side of things. So heading over to my iPhone, we're going to get ready to enable the iTunes Match service. You can do this by heading into Settings and then into the Music section. If you open that up, you will see the toggle to turn on the iTunes Match service. Now this will only appear if you've signed up for it, so it won't appear uh, just by installing iOS 5 itself. So we'll go ahead and enable the feature. And it's going to warn me that by enabling it, it's going to replace all the music currently on my iPhone. Since I don't have any, this is okay with me, so we'll go ahead and enable it. And if you want to, you can turn off the uh, show all music feature so that all of your songs stored in the cloud will not be shown. Uh, so we'll go ahead then and open up music. And it looks like it's currently updating li my library to match my iCloud library. It looks like it's all finished up. So you're going to see here you've got that same iCloud download symbol that we saw on the iTunes application for my Mac. And if we open up Artist, we will see Billy Joel there, and you'll see it has matched all those songs that it did on the computer. And if we want to, we can download this entire album, so let's just go ahead and do that now. And you'll see that the songs are now uh, be are beginning to download right in the background. So this has been a look at the iTunes Match service, both on the desktop and for mobile devices. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this service. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.